The less we put on Mount Rumpke, the happier I am. Parents, students, administrators, and teachers came together to form Sycamore's Green Team in the fall of 2011, working to improve its environmental footprint. The simple act of composting and recycling made an immediate impact at Sims Elementary. We had uh, roughly 10 to 12 bags of trash a day uh, from the cafeteria. And after composting and recycling and implementing our pilot program, we went down to one to two uh, a day. With support growing for the project, Chad Lewis, Sycamore School's Director of Business Operations, said the pilot program turned into a larger project. After that pilot program, we decided to contact uh, Hamilton County Recycling and Solid Waste District, and we wrote a grant. Um, we asked for 46500 We knew that was tough for them to grant us all that money, but uh, they saw the value in our project, and they granted us roughly $34,000 in grant dollars to kick our project off. That gave Sycamore the ability to install waste sorting stations at all of their schools and in turn save the district money. We spent 61000 in 2012. When we put in some of our environmentally sound practices, we spent 49000 So, you know, $11,000, $12,000 savings, that's a huge number, you know, to be able to save and you're doing things that are right for the environment. I no longer have to buy extra packaging. Uh, prior to this, we were pre-portioning everything in styrofoam and plastic. I no longer have to buy any of those containers. So that has saved me probably $200 a month. This effort putting the green in Sycamore's green and gold is ultimately a function of students' willingness to make a difference. If they learn in an early age, starting in kindergarten, to take care of the environment, hopefully they'll continue to do it through adulthood. They know that in the long run they're helping everybody else. So, yeah, they take pride in what they do. They had to learn the process and really champion the process. They have to know exactly what to put in the right and correct bin. Why are we not supposed to do this? This is, we're supposed to do this. This, we have to do this for the future. And isn't that what schools are all about? In Montgomery, I'm Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News.